nous ne devons rien en commencer. Une introduction. Is that, is that French? Can we get a translator? The king's English. No need for translation, sir. I can speak it well enough. Good. My name is Dr. Raymond Ham, and I... Ah, a doctor. A like-minded individual, no doubt. Wherein is your speciality, sir? Cryptobiology. Why? <laughs> a medical man, such as myself. Wonders abound. And here, I worried I had been abducted by common street thugs. This place, then, this is your laboratory. I had wondered, as clean as it is, and with such little trace of the pestilence here. The pestilence? What do you mean? The scourge. The great dying. Come now, you know, the... Mm, what is it they call it? The... The... Ah, no matter. The pestilence, yes. It abounds outside these walls, you know. So many have succumbed, and many more will continue to, until such time as a perfect cure can be developed. Fortunately, I am very close. It is my duty in life to rid the world of it, you see. The cure to end all cures. When you say the great dying, are you talking about the bubonic plague? I don't know what that is. Well, I see. Right, well, the entities our agents encountered at the house. They were dead when you encountered them. Yes, you reanimated them. Mm -hmm. In a manner of speaking, you see things too simply, Doctor. Expand your horizons. Life and death. Sickness and health. These are amateur terms for amateur physicians. There is only one ailment that exists in the world of men, and that is the pestilence, and nothing else. Make no mistake, they were very ill. All of them. You think you cured those people? Indeed. My cure is most effective. But the things we recovered were not human. Yes, well, it is not a perfect cure. But that will come with time, and further experimentation. I have spent a lifetime developing my methods, Dr. Ham, and will spend a lifetime more, if necessary. Now, we have wasted too much time. There is work to do. I will require a laboratory of my own, one where I can continue my research unimpeded. And assistance, of course, though I can provide those on my own. In time. <laughs> oh, I don't think our organization would be willing to... Nonsense. We are all men of science. Fetch your coat and show me to my quarters, Doctor. Our work begins now. We've watched you work for several weeks now, and honestly, I'm not sure I understand what you're doing. Could you describe your process in detail? Oh, goodness, no. The process is... Most intensive, as I said to your assistant, the best instruction you will find about my methods are here in my journals, as I have kept exhaustive records of my work there. Oh, I see. Well, my concern, Doctor, is that we still don't understand what you're seeking to cure, or how it manifests, or how turning these creatures into quasi-living, mindless drones helps in that effort. You do not understand the pestilence? Even after all this time? Doctor... It is an unspeakable horror, one that has shown its true face many times before, and will again. I find myself blessed with the wisdom and good senses needed to root it out and destroy it. But many, like yourself, cannot. It is a cruel judgment, I fear, to be at the mercy of a disease you cannot fully comprehend. That still doesn't answer my question. How's your cure any kind of cure at all? It is a cure. You may laugh at my efforts if you please, but do not besmirch the good name of scientific progress that has developed this great mercy. What you short-sightedly see here is a life better than any this creature could have hoped for. Stricken as it was with the pestilence, 
This creature is now clean, unable to spread the pestilence, and free from the terror it would have experienced otherwise. This is hardly a creature at all, Doctor. It's not even... Do not jape with me, sir. You and your colleagues are like so many others, unable to look past minor setbacks to see the salvation taking place before your very eyes. Do you wait to remove rotten timbers until the hall collapses on top of you? No. You find them and you pull them out and replace them with those untouched by rot. And most of all, you do not simply mock the structure because it now looks different to you. It is strong. It is free of disease. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to agitate you. I, I'm just trying to understand. Yes. Well, do mind your words in the future, Doctor. I am a professional, but even professionals may feel the bite of pride in dealing with criticism of their masterpiece. I will forgive this as an act of good faith between colleagues. Is there anything else I can help you with? No, that will be all. Another test subject on the usual schedule. You know my preference of subjects with more human anatomies. I need you to explain yourself. SCP-049, you are being directed to explain your actions. And I will remind you that failure to cooperate will result in further restrictions during your containment. My actions do not need to be explained. You killed Raymond Ham, and then butchered him until not he... Not dead. No, not... not dead. He is... he is cured. Cured? Cured of what? The pestilence, sir. I had thought you, at least would realize what luck it is. I detected it before. What pestilence? You keep going on and on about this pestilence, but you have not once been able to properly identify this disease. What could you have possibly seen in him today that you had not seen so many times before? That it would be worth his life? He... The pestilence presents and progresses in unforeseeable fashions and has a queer way of... of creeping into the unprepared and... Call it what you want, Doctor. It was a mercy I did to him. He is cured. He is a vegetable. I... I would not expect you to understand. You and your... Your ilk have proven time and time again not to be men of science, but men of... of emotion. You cannot appreciate the horrors I have seen. Those many millions who have succumbed to the pestilence and been changed. Your cure cost Ray his life. No, good sir. I have saved it. You would allow this world to slip back into the, the despair of disease and death, ignoring that I have created a miracle. And what disease? What pestilence? He was a healthy man. He was a good doctor. I'm offering it freely to the afflicted. You are not worth this argument, sir. You are short-sighted and foolish. Dr. Ham was sick, and I... I cured him. I am the only one who can do this. My work must continue. There is still so much to learn. So much I've had to enough do. of this. And Consider your allowances were saved. Even you. Welcome uh, to containment, 049. Might be saved. We're done here. I can save them all. I can cast down this plague once and for all. I can do this. Only me. I... I saved him. I saved him. Dr. Ham. I... I cured him. He was sick. I know he was sick. I know he was. And I... You are all sick, but I, I can save you. I can save all of you because I, I am the cure. SCP-049, we are conducting this interview to close out our investigation of your actions taken on April 16th that resulted in the death of a staff member. 
you have any comments to make? Only that I look forward to the day when you will allow me to resume my work. I have spent the last few weeks compiling my notes and constructing a new theory for how the pestilence was able to infect someone in such an insidious manner that I nearly couldn't detect it. Have you experienced any remorse for your actions? For the death of Dr. Ham? Ah, yes. Well, the death of a colleague is always regrettable. But in the face of the pestilence, we must be swift, Doctor, and act without hesitation. Dr. Sherman noted in his report that you seemed to be mournful during your initial interview. Mourn? Perhaps. I had not thought that. It is lamentable that a fellow doctor became infected. But the work continues. Regrettable as, as it was, Dr. Ham's death provided important insight. Living human subjects are the only way to proceed forward, I am decided. My cure is of little use on dead flesh, and I have gleaned all I can from your generous supply of corpses. My desires turn towards tending to those still living who suffer from the disease. I'm afraid you're going to be disappointed. <laughs> oh, Doctor, I wouldn't be so sure.